GPS were invited to witness the end of an era in spaceflight on the 17th of August 2009. Today sees the launch of the final GPS-2R modified satellite on a Delta II expandable launch vehicle. This is the last Delta II mission to be launched by the United States Air Force. Due to risk of toxins, we were unable to get a view of the launch pad from the press site so we huddled together with the other press guys and then hot footed it quickly down to Coco Beach where we have a full view just in time for the launch. As the sky brightens with the coming dawn we wait patiently for the 3, 2, 1, ignition. The Delta II and its six solid rocket boosters hurl the spacecraft into the sky. Seconds after the launch, the rocket passes through a dark cloud, momentarily obscuring it from view. Just before it reappears, the sound of the rocket reaches us, and we experience the full roar of the engines. solid rocket motor now ignites and the SRBs are jettisoned and fall to the Atlantic Ocean. Further downrange I lose the rocket behind yet another cloud. As it reappears we zoom out to get a view of the contrail as it forms a perfect border for the moon with the bright light of Venus lined up underneath it. The last event we can see on the video is the separation of the air-lit solid rocket motors. You'll have to look closely on the video, but you should be able to see two tiny white dots that separate and fall away from the contrail back into the Atlantic. The rocket is nearing 50 miles above the Earth and 200 miles downrange now. This has been yet another successful Delta II GPS launch. It will be just over an hour before the spacecraft reaches its final orbit and commissioning tests start to. So as the GPS-2R M8 marks the close of a Delta II launches, a new dawn rises on a program for GPS-2F using a Delta IV launch vehicle. As the rocket streaks southbound, the birds return to their flight and everything returns to normal at Cape Canaveral. This has been Mike B and Gator Guy covering the GPS launch at Cape Canaveral.